Now, the integrated management system uh, takes off to be mandatory by June, according to the GRA. The Ghana Revenue Authority has stated that effective June 1, 2020, all transactions related to the ports, uh, import and export of goods uh, will be in the country through the, the ICOMS. Now, the move, according to the GRA, was aimed at coordinating all import and export activities at the ports on a single platform to reduce costs in clearing the export of goods. Now, like yesterday, the GRA in a press statement uh, issued in Accra Monday, or two days ago, signed by the Acting Commissioner General Amisha Dai Usu Amwa, and copied to the Ghanaian Times, however, said between April 28, 2020 and May 31, 2020, transactions in respect of import and export manifest can be processed through either ICOMS or the Ghana Customs Management uh, System for Tema Port as well as all other entry points. All of that is happening. And then yesterday was a chance on a notice from the Ghana Revenue Authority. This, is, this has come to the notice of management of the Ghana Revenue Authority that customs house agents declare uh, declarants are facing some challenges processing their customs documents on the integrated customs management systems. Management of GRA as part of efforts to resolve these challenges is having consultations with management of GCNet um, for the restoration of the GCNet GCMS services. The discussions are almost concluded and management is hopeful that the GCNet GCMS will be operational by Wednesday, 29th April 2020, which is today. The management regrets any inconvenience with the disruption in services has caused all our cherished shareholders. We use this opportunity to assure all stakeholders of our continuous support and thank you for the support and cooperation and assistance, Commissioner General. But Mr. Wabia Samuel, let me start with you. The conversation has been as to whether or not GCNet has outlived its usefulness, which is why we're bringing in Unipass. And now the freight forwarders in Takradi, for example, are complaining that there have been a lot of issues. I mean, even before this started, they, it's been fraught with a lot of issues back and forth. Now we're reading from GRA that, well, we are back in talks with GCNet to see if, literally, as Franklin Kluge says, GRA is on his knees begging GCNet to come back. Is that what is happening? From what you read, mm. I don't believe that is what is happening in the long term. My understanding is that certain challenges have been met, mm. but that 1st June, the Unipass system mm. were fully operational. So in that sense, until GRA is able to tell us plainly that it has cancelled its intended movement to mm. Unipass and that it is restoring GCNet in full, we can't say that they're on their knees begging mm. to, to, to cancel it, as it were. Um, my understanding of what is happening is that there have been substantial challenges and therefore they're probably stepping back to ensure that they're able to put in place all the necessary... Um, they need to tweak the system, mm. literally, as it were. And in the interim, it's, it's a daily process. Mm. Carry of goods, it's a daily process, so it's not surprising that an old system that you use mm -hmm. can be of help in a point at a point where you had intended to fully deploy mm -hmm. on another system and you need to step back and tweak. So I don't believe that uh, it's being cancelled mm -hmm. in its entirety. But the, the, the GCNet, for example, insists that whatever you are asking Unipass to come and do, we already do, along with West Blue Skies. And so the port, we all know, is one of our biggest uh, points of revenue. GCNet says that, look, you are not bringing anything new by bringing you the past. Why do you want to change a winning team, they're asking? Frankly, this argument has been hashed and rehashed. And I think the bottom line is that, at the end of the day, the government and the customs uh, uh, administration officials have mm. decided that they are going to use the Unipass. Mm. So, uh, going back to the argument about whether uh, they, they, they are fingering the them. senior minister in, in all of this. They say fingering. this is this is the machination see, of the senior you minister. See, you see, the, the difficulty with public policy in this country, where underhand dealings have to always be assigned to somebody, then you are assuming that one person in the name of the foreign minister can move the entire government and bureaucracy in the personal direction mm. against the dictates of cabinet or against the entire bureaucratic administration, ad, uh, administration of customs. It is too far fetched. Mm. It is too far-fetched. If the senior minister happens to be the point person 
leading a negotiation or a change management process, mm -hmm. it does not mean that it is his personal agenda mm -hmm. that is being run through the government. Mm -hmm. In any event, what then does West Blue add to GCNet? There were also complaints at the time mm -hmm. that West Blue was superfluous because GCNet was already doing what West Blue was expected to do. Mm -hmm. And yet West Blue was deployed. And some sort of untidy compromise uh, was put in place where both were running. And if but it was profitable, the GCNet is arguing that bringing on West Blue made it profitable. Is it about profit? Is it not? I think it's about efficiency and capacity to have run a seamless process that mm. makes import and export administration more efficient mm. in terms of better coordination, in terms of reducing downtime, in terms of ensuring that you don't have too many processes mm. to go through, in terms of eliminating man contact hours mm. Mm. And, and, and having a throughput that, that takes advantage of the entire technical value chain possible mm -hmm. across the world. Mm -hmm. I think that's what this is all about. Right. That you're able to have a seamless system. But there's also money at the, at the tail end. But when you work, you deserve to be paid. To the extent, to the extent that most of government revenue mm -hmm. comes through the ports, right. especially Tema. <laughs> of course, <laughs> there's a certain profit angle to it. But the essence, the core mm -hmm. of running a customs operation is not the profits to the operators of the system. <laughs> it is the needs of the users, mm -hmm. the service providers, the, the, the people who need to bring in material. It's not, it's not an end in itself to, to export, uh, import stuff right. through a port. Mm -hmm. You are bringing it in. So the port is a facilitatory process right. so that you get what you need into the system and then your business begins. But where the freight forwarders are kicking against this deal with Unipass and Ghana Link, the government should be listening to them because they are the ones who are working there, don't you think? It, it is been, and I believe over the past year, the Deputy uh, uh, Minister mm. of Finance mm. has been literally the implementing point man on mm. this. Mm. And at no point has it been said that freight forwarders have not been engaged mm. on the transition to Unipass. I don't think that is the case. Change management is difficult. Moving out of your comfort zone may be difficult. And it is clear that if you have a one-window system, you may actually end up with areas where you may not need certain services. This in essence, they had an end-to-end. What you're asking Unipass to bring, yes. they have it all. In fact, yeah. they had to invest in, in software upgrade and all of that. And presently, Unipass is actually using their software, which is why they are in court yeah. for plagiarism and all of that. Yes, but those are the issues that are corollary to the change. Mm. But change there is. Okay. And that change is in progress. How it pans out uh, depends on how it's implemented and managed okay. and how the stakeholders adapt. You know. okay. It's like mm -hmm. a, <laughs> a structural transition. Mm -hmm. For example, in private transport services, taxis. Mm -hmm. You have traditional taxis standing at a rank, waiting for five people to sit down before they move. And then in comes, uh, 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 what do you call it, an app. Right, an online, online, online taxi And an online taxi can come and pick you up by yourself. It's faster, it's cheaper, it's simpler. And then there's one sitting there at the rank. Mm. They are both taxis, but there's been structural change in the industry. So somebody loses out. Mm. The, the people who are stationary at the place where the tax is, the loading boys, mm -hmm. the, you know, all the other people whose economy, including even businesses who do little petty things, mm -hmm. sell food and sell hankies for an hour, who are dependent on the traffic through the static mm -hmm. terminal. Mm -hmm. They all lose out right. because now you have a structure change where the, the app uh, discards all of that but, but and but comes straight to you. G -G -G I hear you, I hear you, but GCNet, mm -hmm. finally, GCNet says that, look, the structural change that you're trying to bring, and maybe I, I'll be sounding like a broken record, mm. we have it all. But if you insist that you will cancel it, our contract is not over. And so $300 million is what the state will be losing. Is that not too much to be losing for just one contract that we may be contracting at $40 million US dollars? That's what I'm saying, that those arguments have been made. And I am not in a position to go back mm. and make them or unmake them. I think those arguments have been made at length. Okay. There have been intense discussions in the industry associated with imports. Mm -hmm. This is a very heavy import-dependent country. Mm -hmm. And over the years, many, many 
um, institutions, private sector and public, mm. have built their corporate lives around the import regime. Okay. So, so you cannot make a change mm. without engaging a vast array of, of institutions. I get so you. all these things are in the pipeline and are being done. And I believe that at the end of the day, it is a question of policy. Mm. The question of what best suits us in terms of end-to-end, -end, one window, single. We've been talking about single window. This is for a very long time. Right. Okay. So that if we can get one system mm. that is end-to-end, -end, that eliminates excessive human touch, mm. that is able to track goods through and reduces the number of agencies who have a direct interest and essentially makes you feel comfortable that mm. your stuff that you are imported is coming in at less cost to you was an input, it's not a final product, okay. then we should be comfortable. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Square, let me bring you in. GCNet has been um, touting his experience, and he says that, look, we have worked with government spanning um, the last days of President Rawlings when it was mooted through President Kofor, President Mills, President Mahama. Why do you want to change a winning team with a team, as you know, pass as they call it, that has no track record, that is not ISO certified, that does not have what it takes to do what we have been doing over the years for more than 20 years. They say they see a monkey hand in the dark, which feels like a human hand. Do you agree? First of all, good morning to your viewers. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, can I say that I agree with what the freight forwarders are saying, mm -hmm. and I, which is what actually GCNet is also saying. And I can understand why my colleague wouldn't want to go into the history because it, he says the decision has been made. But it's important to a certain extent mm -hmm. in that if there were not warnings in advance about the inability of Unipass to deliver a better service mm -hmm. than GCNet was delivering, then perhaps uh, he would be on... Uh, a good wicket, as we say in cricket, mm. to have said that uh, this is something that you don't have to look at the history. Mm. But that's not the case. The history is they were warned. Government mm. was warned. And in actual fact, what has happened is that government was on the verge of committing suicide mm. with regard to the revenues that they have to generate from the port. Mm. In fact, their legs were dangling. And had it not been for the fact that they are now using GCNet to hold them back to get the chair back, which they had kicked out. Mm. Uh, our revenues mm. at the time of COVID, which then become absolutely crucial, mm. uh, would have been severely affected. The history is that they were supposed, Unipass is supposed to come with a brand new system okay. that surpasses that of Uni, of uh, GCNet. GCNet right. And yet, when they wanted to begin operations, it appeared that they even wanted to use part of GCNet's system. GCNet said, look, we have intellectual property. Don't touch our stuff. Mm -hmm. But they still went ahead. And obviously, if you're not in control of the whole system, you have problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, when Franklin Kujo of Imani says that some amount of begging mm -hmm. has gone on, it, it, he's actually literally speaking truth. Because you have actually told the people to leave. Mm -hmm. Now you sign a new contract with others. Put the even the putting the history even aside. You now have to go back to the people you said go, and ask them to come back, because this what we are doing is not working. In fact, they were moving back to a manual system. Mm. Really? Yes, the manual system started in over the last week because the system, actual this thing was not working the the system that was in place the government insists that we're going high tech it we're, was not working we're doing hmm. so using human look, interactions yeah. and interfaces. We, we saw the I dealt with this last Saturday mm. we saw clips of people who were working at the port and so what was happening was areas where and I had figures then where you would expect Ghana to make revenues of CX, excuse me to say, 10,000. Okay. They were making revenues of 3,000 because they were going to the manual system. It was allowing the issue of bribery. What was taking, what incentives, was taking away Let me use the word okay. incentives. Hmm. To come again, the whole idea of going 
paperless mm. was to stop the incentive drive okay everything comes on the computer you pay and that's how the revenue was able to, to come up mm. to, to come up once you go back to manual mm. people play games with the system and that was what began to happen in the last week and because it went manual mm. from paperless an issue that to take half a day to clear was taking between three and nine days to clear mm. so it was it had completely failed and broken down that's why i use the word suicide no, now GRA says we are trying to right the wrongs. Come, but then they. It does not mean that you were not warned that this cannot work at this stage. The weight at which you are going, it will not work. And even putting into, uh, taking into account my colleagues' view of look, change and change management brings mm. issues. Yes, that is why when you have a system that is one of the largest revenue generators in the country. Mm you must take extra care in the change management process with the coming in of west blue to uh, to join right. uh, gcnet mm -hmm. gcnet was still there so it, there were arguments there were issues Since there were some untidy arrangements that were but there. you the, had to adopt them anyway but the revenue generator was still there so mm -hmm. your initial revenue was never going to be touched okay because they were still working and they have now reached some form because the same government touts that look in the last number of years our revenue at the port has increased mm. so you really have to have a cogent argument for removing a good thing mm. on the basis that whatever you are bringing as he says using the taxi one thing as in it is actually much better and you don't see this as being better well the proof of the pudding it's in the eating. Why are they going back to GCNet? Every new project would have teeth in problems. Yes, but to the extent where you have to go back and bring the old contractor, why didn't you even have a situation where you had a negotiation where you work the two together and the, uh, the older one phases out, say, after six months? Mm. If you don't have a good negotiating team to the extent that the issues where you have people have agreed or uh, uh, the main issue then it means that you continue, we join you, you work with us, learn what is in, put your systems in, and then you move out after six months, we continue. Seamless. Why do you have a, or oh, that appears to be the case, situation? And these are the issues. But if you do not ha get into a good negotiating pro uh, uh, aspect, because look, at one point GCNet was saying, uh, we'll give you, sh you want controlling shares, we'll give mm -hmm. you, government has already 35 percent right. we'll give you another 30 percent for this amount if not pay us this amount and we'll walk away it went to and fro to and fro to and fro but to have let them go completely mm. without fully even having a test period to see how their system was going to work and whether it could sustain what was going on for me it, 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 it's clear as, as daylight now, that now there's a failure. Now we're looking at a mandatory thing of May, June. This will come whether you like it or I'm not. I'm not saying to come. Don't, don't get me wrong. That's not the point I'm making. Mm. No, I'm That's, not saying you have explained, yeah, but yes. I'm saying that where do we go from here? And I'll ask Mr. Bob and some of the same yes. question. Now it will come with all these issues that have been explained here yes. at this table. Yes. We know what the challenges are. Yes. We know what the advantages and disadvantages are. Yeah. And even though red flags are being raised, government says, I know what I'm doing for my people. Why did you this mention the, the monkey's hand? But that appears to be human. It's because... It's an African problem. I, I agree. <laughs> but what I, the point I'm going back to is, the moment you start having issues like this, hmm. then people begin to start questioning. Look, if you are bringing a superior uh, system, hmm. and from day one, everything about it appears to be wrong so that we've now moved from the greatly touted paperless system into a manual system because that's what's the main issue is that we have now gone manual in, in that report completely and this is why they have to now bring gcnet in mm. so they can still reinstall the system and now get possibly a phased uh handover mm. is, is so this is not being too hard on government when he knows that, look, it, your systems are, are what we are depending on, and you're, you're taking it and holding it onto it and saying that, I won't give it to you. It's not, it's just not I don't understand. Hard. If 
<laughs> if me and my brother, mm -hmm. and I'm just using us as example, right. decide that we are want to marry the same girl, mm -hmm. and <laughs> 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 and you, you decide that my brother is the one, even though I have been courting her and talking to her longer than he has, mm. and everybody knows that I'm older, I've been at it longer, mm. and then you decide that no, my brother should go. Do you think I'm going to take it lying down when you want to go into the marriage and you realize that you can't pay the diary? Mm -hmm. You're asking me to come and help you to pay your diary. <laughs> I will not help you. <laughs> Simply put. Simply put. <laughs> he won't help you to marry the same girl he wants to marry. I wonder, I wonder whether Court is my age. <laughs> <laughs> the, the elder must necessarily right. get married before the young girl. What, 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 where do we go from up? here? Yeah. These are real challenges. I mean, with the... Uh, the whole COVID-19 thing is displaced our yes. economy. Yes. The president has admitted it, finance minister, vice president, everybody else. Yes. What we used to get, we are not getting. Right. But the ports are working. We are raking in a lot of revenue from there. If we do it right, we will yeah. get a lot of it and it will cushion us. Where do we go from here? I like the phrase, if we do it right. Mm. Because you see, public policy and its implementation is the only area where it's very easy to say, uh, deja vu, had I known. We are always wiser after the fact, mm. particularly if you are not directly involved in its implementation. And you gave an African proverb, the monkey's hand. Mm. I also have an African proverb, which Shall means that know. the only way mm -hmm. of learning how to cut a tree mm -hmm. is to cut it. You can't sit in the theoretically take an ask, uh, ask swing it and all that get out there and cut the tree down but just make sure you're not standing they where the tree falls <laughs> 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 because there's an art form in cutting the tree <laughs> you will never get to know that art form well until well, you practice sometimes people die because they don't know, mm -hmm. you know so, so so yes to the extent that gcnet mm -hmm. is being asked dependent on this letter mm -hmm. that you have seen mm -hmm. i haven't seen the letter yet i don't have a uh, a copy of it, asking okay. whether mm. yes, originating from GRE oh, or is, not. It is it from is. GRE. Right. Right. So to that extent, and yet at the same time, we have a firm assurance from GRE mm -hmm. that from June, the mm. system takes off. Right. It means, to my mind, that yes, we can step back. It means, to my mind, that they, we admit that there have been problems mm. but we are going to resolve them mm. and once we resolve them mm -hmm. we ought to be comfortable with what we have public policy mm -hmm. like i said mm -hmm. is not always smooth simple and easy public policy is that which everybody can look at to criticize input and otherwise mm -hmm. and yet it has to be done mm. so now if by june mm -hmm. there is going to be full implementation then I believe that whilst temporarily you have a setback, that system is one that the Customs Administration is committed to. And that's the system that will be in place at the right time. Okay. Just so you want to have a final... Uh, well, no, I right just on. think that uh, I'm, not, I'm not totally... Com I accept now that the, it's going to come in, but I do not think that many co uh, view, uh, observers out there are convinced mm -hmm. about the reason for the change. Mm -hmm. And this initial problem that is coming we hope mm. it's not going to point to a reduced uh, revenue kind. Uh, 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 yeah to a problem about revenue collection in the future okay because it was working and we are trying to fix something that was working to mm. work better i see alex so if we are not careful mm -hmm. and i'm i'm not a prophet of doom right i'm just saying that the warnings have been given okay and the first signs are showing so it's incumbent upon government to get it right. But there are many who are still skeptical. And what is happening now mm -hmm. is giving reason for the skepticism. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say, that GRE is a huge institution mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. And GRE is an institution that rides also on its credibility. Therefore, for it to pursue a certain course of action, mm -hmm. I believe they have satisfied themselves that that is the right course of action. Is, is there mm. pressure from government on them? I do not think there is pressure from government as a distinct entity from GRE. GRE is an institution that is part of the government. Mm. GRE has a mandate to deliver. Mm. GRE is performing on that mandate and can be assessed 
based on its delivery quality or mm. otherwise. Mm. But at the moment, we have gone paperless. They believe that the best solution to enhancing, strengthening paperless mm. is to move to the Unipass system. Okay. And they have assured the public that they will do so by 1st June. Okay. I think we should give them the benefit of the doubt okay. and see what happens by 1st June. Okay. Let's